Hello, good afternoon, welcome to PlayStation Access. My name is Dave, and I'm joined today by Ash. Hello! And Ash, this is your new favourite game! Oh, thank you! I've jumped in a little bit, but I'm really excited this afternoon because we're rolling out, uh, or dusting off, a format we haven't done for ages on stream. Mm -hmm. uh, your new favourite game, which is one of my favourites, uh, which is exactly what it says on the tin. One of the members of PlayStation Access reveals to another member <laughs> a game they think they'll love. And I feel certain that Ash is going to love Return of the Obra Dinn. I love it. It was introduced to me by L. Yeah. Uh, and also, the meaning is, is, is a double meaning because it's also your new favourite game, people at home, because yeah. that is how much I th I love Return of the Obra Dinn. I think that... It, that Many people out there will love it. I hope that you today today find your new favourite game, or at least like a game that you're going to really enjoy. Yeah, it's so good, um, and I'm looking forward to playing it. Hello to everybody in the chat. Uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Uh, let us know if you've played Return of the Obra Dinn, or if you're just a uh, Return of the Obra Dinn interested, because I'd like to know, you know, how many people have given it a go, and and then you can let us know at the end if you intend to give it a go. It's so good. Uh, hello to Nicola Lurker who's not lurking, but maybe that's just a, you know, it, maybe it's not a, Nicola, a name. Nicolurka Nicola Nicola is the oh, one. Oh, it's right there. Nicolurka. It's right there. Uh, hello to Riley, D-Mystic, Jared, Robert, Nita, Ozymandias, Melania. Ooh. Shell, yes. Yeah, Swirling Woo! Zero. I've got to say this. Vernon, Punk, Bass, Ooh. Ishan, Katie. Hello, everybody. It might be a Punk Bass. There are many. Oh, no. Oh. I'm so get, sorry we, if you're a punk we have, bass. <laughs> we have to do this with Rosie all the time. <laughs> <laughs> She's been fishing for bass for years. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really, really excited to play this. I bought it um, in the sales, in the January yeah, sales. Yeah, in the January sales, was I, I went. I like to do a little indie roundup and, and get loads of things for a few pounds or like less, less than 10, usually less than five. I can't remember how much this one was, but it was a very good deal. And I'd heard about it literally from the days of L as well. Yes. Um, and I'd never actually watched it through because I thought, oh, this looks so much my thing. It looks spooky. It's kind of pixel arty and it's an indie, like, in house game. Like, you know, you can complete it in, in not too long. Yeah. I was like, this is all the things that I love. And then we were talking about it and you were like, you must play this. And I'm, yeah, I'm just very excited for Dave's take on it because I know you've you've been singing his praises ever since as well. Oh, and so then good. you were the one who were like, get it in the January sale. It's, so. Oh, it's so good. And I, I like genuinely am especially excited for you to play it because I think you're just going to really vibe with it. And I hope, I do hope that everybody uh, watching does too. It's, you know, I think a lot of people will prejudge it because it, because of the art style. It yeah. doesn't, you know, it looks like an old game. You can see the monitor here, Macintosh. Mm. It's like it harks back to old kind of... Wait, did this what games, did this what games look did like? Did this what games look like? Yeah, uh, when I first started, when I went to primary school, we had a BBC computer. Yeah. And Wait, I think at what? best it was, yeah, I know. They did their BBC. own computers? I don't think it's related to the British broad Broadcasting Company. Really? Oh, I don't know. I'm but really anyway, it. this was like, you were lucky if it looked as good as this. Yeah. Um, so... Yes, it's kind of like a puzzle deduction game set on board a ship. Well, we're going to get into it. We don't need to talk about it. But uh, so I, th I think we should probably just do that. And I just want to quickly highlight that it's created by Lucas Pope, um, who also made Papers, Please. I don't know <gasps> oh! if you've played that or uh, are aware of it. I so like, yells into my glass. Yes. Because I've, been, I've literally been playing that um, within the past couple of months. been playing that. Um, I downloaded it on my phone. Really? I did, yeah. You can, you can do that. Yeah, it was a, it, You could also uh, play it on PS Vita. And I'm learning from Secret Boss that he also worked at Nor Naughty Dog. Way Secret back. Boss did? No, not Secret Boss. Oh. Or did he? I don't know. Uh, He's kept no, that one quiet. Luca Lucas Pope uh, also worked at Naughty Dog. So that's mm. fantastic pedigree. That makes sense. Congratulations, Lucas Pope. So I think probably we're, today we're going to just play 90 minutes of this. We're not going to get through the whole game nowhere near and it's just going to be really Ash experiencing it for the first time and hopefully a lot of you experiencing it for the first Puzzles. time. Ash, you're just going to need to bring your brain and your best attitude Ooh. and enjoy this that, game. It's a, real, it's a real throw up whether you're going to get both of those. <laughs> I don't want to put too much pressure on you to enjoy this, Okay, but um, it's really to. important to me that you do. <laughs> so. I feel like I'm going to, so the pressure's on me, from me. It's green. It's green. 
Hello. I think we're going to get a little bit of backstory, or else we'll get nothing whatsoever. Oh no! <laughs> Have we fallen at <laughs> the How? first hurdle? How? <laughs> Have you, what if you press a button? My my goodness! I can't believe it. I'm gonna, I can't I'm gonna, I'm gonna it. close it and open it again. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! That's not part of it. That's that's it. Do, it doesn't do that usually. Here we go. Here it is for real now. There we go. Lost at sea, 1803, the good ship Oberdin. Built 1796, London, 800 tons, 8 foot drafter. Captain R. Whitterell, crew, 51 men. Last voyage to Orient Cape, rendezvous unmet. Contact East India, sea, London office for inquiries or testimony. So, the Oberdin, lost at sea, 1803. Yeah. Oh, is that important? Might be. Captain R. Whitterell. Whitterell. 1796. The Honourable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector Insurance and Claims London Office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. So, the Oberdin, lost at sea, has unexpectedly returned to Falmouth. Yes. And you are uh, the Chief, Chief Inspector, Inspector of Insurance. Insurance and Claims London Office. Exactly. To go and try and figure out well, what happened, because it was lost at sea. How is it back? What, what's happened? Well, oh, we have to find out. Oh, this is five years later? Yeah. No. Company man woke me Four up. years Four later. <laughs> me can't count good. I do. Not many eager for that job. I'm eager. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> That's you. What's I in speak. the box? I don't know. I hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Somehow, the Oberdin returned. So, here you are. Is that my box? That's your box. He's going to hoist it up carefully in a minute. So I've got to go up the ladder. Oh, I'm you're going I've up. grabbed it. I mean, ha I don't even know how to describe this art style. Because it's not even like, it's not pixel art. It's like vectors. It's like, yeah, it's like vector. Obviously, the textures are all really pixely. It's like see, th you th see through to the pixels, don't you? Hoist my box up, please. So, oh, get your hand off. So here we are so on the, the Oberdin. Oberdin. What's that shiny thing? What I does it that, mean, I David? Think that, I think that's the like a ref is that a reflection maybe? Of what? Like this, the a star, the sun. I don't know. That's the moon. Yes, maybe not that then. Don't worry about that just yet. Okay. So, you are here to discover what happened to the Oberdin. It's and been I missing. And I can just start straight away. You're doing it now, yeah. So okay. I think you know that box is going to be important, but I think he's going to ho hoist it up when you find your first clue. Okay. Um. So Let's have yourself a little look around. What about this? Hello! Because that's how they speak up, I guess that's it? how. I guess that's what's that, what, 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 what? I guess that's what that was for. I've got my that Zoomy button. That wasn't such a difficult... Woo, uh, woo, woo. There we go. She's discovered Zoom. <gasps> stinking body. Stinking... <gasps> a skeleton! Skelly. Yay! Hello. How can I investigate you? Zoom. 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 Okay. I liked how that cross was drawn. Oh my goodness, that was a vicious That's pull. That's locked. That one isn't. A bedroom. Can I open anything? It doesn't look like it. It's just for show. Right now. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he needs your help. Oh, this man. Hoi! Mm. I'm gonna try. I want to say that more. Hoi! Hoi. Uh, oh. Domino says, everybody's dead, Dave. Everybody's dead. It's too heavy. Can you just sort just it out? What's he for, here for if not to hoist stuff? How do I pay him Come for? on. This isn't a ferry. It's a Come rowboat. Come on, mate. Hoist it up. Take it yourself or open it here. <sighs> Carries. Annoyedly. So, what have we got? A book. Oh. I l this feels like there's sentiment around the book or, or some sort of mystery with the the long look at it. Well, you don't know what's in this box yet, I don't think. Well, that's what he said right at the start. Yeah. Oh, a catalogue of adventure and tragedy. 
Do you want to read it, Dave? I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. Morocco? The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Oh, Henry. Henry Evans. Okay, so these are our contents and these are our chapters. Yeah, so have a. I think you can keep R2ing through it just to get a look. So. Okay. You're going to see, you know, you're going to see. There's loads of little clues to, to get your hands on. L like it says, a lot of this is going to seem bewildering at first. So I'm you bewildered? Don't need to, yeah, don't worry. It will make more sense. There's the deck plans. Um. The names of the crew that or the man yeah, the passenger manifest. And basically what you're trying to do in Return of the Oberdin is discover basically put a name to each and a fate to mm. each body. Okay. So, so you know that skelly you found? Yeah. You were going to use your uh oh skills of deduction <gasps> to discover who they were how they died. Oh my god, I've got to find the skellies way of, of life. Okay. And you're going to do that using, yes, I'm going to say it, your magic pocket watch. Sorry. Oh, there you go, all the way through. I just la thought la that la this la was la all la. blank. It is, I think I think it is. Well, it just gives you a little clue of where to go, but I think. Obviously, I guess there's something at the back. I think there's a glossary at the back of terms because we're going to learn a lot of... Uh, C words. C words. It's okay. I know port and starboard. I know you know one C word, but not that one. <laughs> Very good, David. Oh, thank you. I'm on top form. Yes. Ooh. This chapter remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. He. The bargain. And you are going to discover the fate of the Oberdin. I'm so excited for you to discover it. It's so... It twisty and turny and clever and cunning and unexpected and brilliant. Ooh. Okay, so captain. Does that mean head officer and commander of the ship? Responsible directing the US. Mate is the first mate, right? Officer and tradesman supports as the superior. General mate. Oh, there's more. So general mate helps run the ship at the captain's request. I guess bosun. first mate is the, the like top mate. So first mate's the bosun, isn't it? Sorry, boatswain. That's right. Not boatswain. Goodness me. Gonna purse, uh, purse would be tra uh, money, yeah, value. Surgeon, carpenter, helmsman, uh, man in the wheel. Yep. Yeah. Steward, <laughs> midshipman, topman, seaman, uh, main deck, gun deck, all. Up, oh, where's the all up deck? The mid deck. Okay. What's that thing? I want to look at it, but I can't press it. It's Open. not for you yet. Not for you yet. Ooh, and the magic pocket watch. With a skull on it. Yes! Memento Mortem. Okay, so not Memento Mori. Remember Death. Remember Death is a bit different to Remember You Will Die. Okay, so now I can take my magic pocket watch and be like, yo, Skelly, what up? Is he going to talk to me? Is he going to rise up? I love it when Let's find out. Skellies get reanimated. Use it. Oh! We're going back in time! Uh, yeah, we're going to see the moment. Get and here. Open the door! I love the voice they all have. Ah, we're seamen. Let me break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may take. Weird. Exactly what can I give you? One of these! Oh, <gasps> oh my god. So I'm here. So. Here we go, Ash. Oh, I'm in you the crime. Always, this is how it works. You find a body, you use your magic pocket watch, and you get a moment, the moment of death for that person. Ooh. But you will also see a small area around them. You'll hear a little scene. Yeah. So you need to pay attention to what's being said. What did you? What can you deduce from from what we have just heard and this, what we're now This seeing? man is nude. That's what. <laughs> that man is wearing very little. Can you deduce anything else about him? Um. Well, he's got a gun. 
<laughs> did you hear? Did you hear um, what was said? Well, he said you'll I'll, you'll take what I give you. I was too excited, so I did skip <laughs> you over. You did it. skip over. I did an important part. But is that? But it, I think just, he's the captain. He, he is shouted the ca- captain. He is the captain. And he's coming from the captain's quarters. Yeah, they were they were banging on the door. Going captain. Yeah, yeah. and they were like, we're going to take whatever. And he was like, you'll you'll take what I give you. Yeah. So so far. Oh no! Let me can, back. Let can, me back. We know. We, what do we know about the guy who's, who, whose body you found? So he was asking the captain for something. Yeah. Um, All you need to know is... What we're trying to find out, I think, for everyone is their name, yeah. their... what they do on the ship, and how they died. What? What? Wow. So here we go. This, this is like... This is your little... Explainer. Explainer. This unknown soul met an unknown fate. Oh. So currently... Okay. So I assume we're not going to find this guy until the end, because this is... So this all, like... um, So you can see you don't have enough information to determine who he is yet. He got shot? Yes, he did. So I can enter that? You can enter that. Try to name them while the face is blurred would be unproductive. Yeah, okay. so saying, just don't guess. <laughs> Carry on. Faces will become unblurred with information necessary. Okay, so when they're unblurred, that's when we can start naming. Well, he's definitely dead. Shot. Killed sword, like that. Eaten! Struck. Oh, well, there's, a lot to, there's a lot to enjoy in here. So shot. Gun. By, an un- by the captain? He was... And do you remember the name of the captain? Yes. Robert Rittle? Exactly. So we've almost solved this guy, this guy's fate. I mean, well, his name's quite difficult. Okay. First memory perished, the end part one. Oh, bookmark memories. Okay, thank you. Oh, God. No, oh. <laughs> 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 afraid to edit bookmarks and have it be- between them. Okay. Why does it say 125? Because that's the page. That's the, the page number, yeah. So, so that's it. That's all we know. There were three other others present. That's where he died. There's that. If you think if you click that, you'd see the scene again. Not that the the bottom bit. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Captain. Open the door. Take more than those shells as well. And the so, X, I guess, is 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 that guy saying it? Yeah. The little cross means that's the guy saying it. So are they shells like seashells, or are they shells like like gun shells? Wow, Ooh. great, great question. I yeah, hope I they're seashells. And then this is so. This is where these faces are coming from. There's uh-huh. like a a, sh- a drawing of an event on the ship that yeah. has the whole sort of crew and everything. So we know that's the captain. We know that's the captain. Revisit memories in the ship to study relationships. Use the book maps, crew manifests, and artist sketches. Oh, right. Oh, it's 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You have to make assumptions. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Thanks, game. Now, there's one more twist. I'm sure it's going to tell you this. Yeah. Um, which is that once you enter the three bits of information needed to determine, a, you know, to say, like, this person's name is this. Yeah. They died like this and, and they were killed by this. It won't tell you if you're right or wrong. Yeah. It will only tell you if you're right and wrong after you've completed five entries and if you've I think it's five or maybe it's three and if you've got them all right it'll go congratulations you've got all these things right but if you have if one of them's wrong it just won't do anything you'll know that one is wrong you won't know which one is wrong you won't know what's wrong about it so you've got to keep your wits about you so here you go so we've so we know what this guy's face looks like, but yeah. not who he is. I would assume he would be the bosun if he's like, hassling the captain is the only thing. Well, that is at this point a big assumption, and it's don't worry, there's going to be there's going to be a lot more information for you to use to like figure it out. It's not it's not that. You so, know, you, there yeah. will be more. So I'll just stay on the ship now. So I think if you uh, if you press, there's a button you can press. Is it triangle? Maybe there's a button that will get you out of this. Um, well, should maybe we, it's should just I working all on all of it. Oh, it's always good to explore all of it. All of it, yes. Because look, he found another guy here. What does it mean? And he's got a tooth. Where's he going? I think he's he's got a. What's he got? A knife through his. Yeah, that's that's classic climbing the mast behaviour. That is climbing the mast behaviour. That's that. He looks like he's going to climb the mast. And honestly, like this game, you've got to always look around, explore. Oh, that's right. You go through the door and you'll exit. Cool. And you'll go back to 
the modern day. Oh, he's so dead. Three entries, says everybody. So there we go. And I think that the captain's quarters door is now open. Oh, God. I wish you'd stop shaking. It scares me. Oh, yeah, it's opened up. <gasps> and there's the captain! One looks, would assume. Looks like it. Let's just. Oh, my God, and there's this guy! One would assume. <laughs> it's definitely that guy. Oh, my God. Let's just check around here. Nothing of, of interest around here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So what let's, are you see, doing? let's see some more he's some got, more death scenes. He's got a tricorn hat on. Where so. Are yeah. They? Must be in here someplace. A thief. The shells. The shells. They're at the bottom of the sea. <gasps> That's a lie. Oh, a scuffle. Oh, they're at the bottom of the sea. All right, Captain's Ooh. getting well stabbing. All right. So there's a man in his pyjamas with a big stick fighting the captain. Look at his knife. Yeah. Ooh. Screenshot. And he, the table's been knocked over. There's some pixels. But this guy isn't dead yet. So maybe that was the captain. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here. No. So the body, so it's happened after, it looks like the first, yeah. or whoever this is. So that was the guy behind him then, that's running. Yeah. Unless, and where's our friend gone? Where's he now? Is he climbing the mast? No! Oh. No, I'm not ready! <laughs> I'm not ready to go back! <laughs> okay, come on, game. Inside the captain's quarters. So his face is blurred, so we know we can't... Name him. Yeah. And then this was this. Where are they? They must be in some place. They're at the That's bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Unknown. But stabbed by Captain. So we can fill that in. Yeah. So, message unknown fate. They were... Well, they were... Uh, knifed, I guess. Shot spears. Yeah. Spears. I think knifed. I think knifed. He's definitely... I mean, he's uh, by the Captain, right? Yeah. Captain's got a couple of kills to his name here. He's doing well. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so we're back here in this memory. Yeah, so you can, can keep having a look around. I don't think you can open doors in memories. No. I think I'm done here, to be honest. There's yeah, that's fine, yeah. The gun's on Crack the floor on. now, though. Yeah, that's good to know. Well, what? So this guy's tried to stab the captain with, a like, a spear? Is yeah. Yeah. I don't, it looks or like has, a piece of maybe wood. has got him in the got him in the shoulder there. Oh, I and don't he, know. He's got him anyway. He's got him. He's got his neck. Yeah. That seems that feels like we've we've nailed that. This guy definitely dead. Hello. Who are you, please? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's well dressed. Maybe he will he's not appear in, his pajamas. in another memory. Oh goodness. Are you suggesting he's going to appear in another memory? He might. Dilly do. Her bears eats beats says captain's on a kill streak. <laughs> he is, he's got two. Oh. oh. That's the guy choking on his own blood. I agree. So, uh -huh. yeah. So that's this guy that's dying. This guy dying. And this other guy's tried to come in from out here. Yeah. And being Any ideas who that guy might be? Oh. Oh. Hello. And how's the captain died? It well, looks like Sir Davos it's not Seymour. the captain. Is the is this the captain's body we found, or is it this this guy? No, it's this guy. The yeah. captain's still alive at this point. Oh yeah, but he has been stabbed. Yeah. So you think we're seeing the guy who's been struck on the head? Yeah. His moment of death. Because he's right by the door. Yeah. And the captain seems to have a bigger part to play here. Oh, what's in here? A sleeping. Woman? <gasps> L2 to zoom! Hello? Oh. Where is she? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Who could she be? Madame. Ah. Oh. Interesting. What does it mean? A woman. On a ship. Bad luck, that. Scandalous. She didn't look well, though. Well, she looked like she was sleeping. Yeah? To death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the person was present. That was the captain then. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, who is? How did he die? Well, he was um, he was like speared by the captain, wasn't he? Do you reckon? Do you reckon it's speared? Well, that sounds like <laughs> for me. Well, the thing is, all I'd say is spear to me sounds pointy. Oh, and, he was hit uh, in But the he head. was struck, wasn't he? He's was more. I think at the top there's a <laughs> at the top there's a um, clubbed. Would it be clubbed? Eaten. I want to see someone get eaten, crushed. Yeah, probably clubbed. Or maybe he was speared. Anyway, well, we'll find out. Or we won't. Okay, so we don't know their name. But we do know there's a lady. There's a lady. And we've got her face. Yeah. And there's some men. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, we're all examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. Hello! Okay, so we've got a few other people here. What is this pic? Okay, this is, so the picture's like cleared up. Yeah. Okay. So this is the picture. Yeah, cause, and the captain is somewhere. I think he's, he's there. He's upstairs, isn't he? No, there, that's yeah. him. Who's this? Justice at sea. So they've hung someone. Yep. And then there's royalty. Yeah. So there was a. you said there was a guy dressed posh. Yes. Well, I, I guess I just meant more than like a... Your regular ship guy, as in, yeah. you know, he's he's probably. If you if you took take a look at the captain, there's like some some lads around him, yeah, in sort of in more formal attire. Yes, yeah, so that's the one that he killed, one of. Yeah, and the other one's down here. Yeah, he was knifed. Yeah, yeah. and then something's going on here where they're not very happy about it. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, intriguing. I'm so intrigued right now. Yes, yes, you should be. Okay, so lady, I don't know who you are, but I'll leave you be for yep. now. For now. Okay, so. Is there anything else we can glean from this memory before you leave it? Clubbing, definitely. No one out, no one. And the captain has been, he's been kind of poked in the shoulder. Then he's been stabbed in the side. Yeah. But he hasn't died yet. He's, he's still not, going. He's not gone yet. This guy's definitely not happy. <laughs> I did wonder whether the guy who the captain's killing here was the guy who was climbing up, you know, earlier with the mount with his uh, with the knife in his mouth. But I'm oh, not sure. So we could check that. Okay, let's go. Do you remember the stuff in this, or are you just kind of like no, I don't, vibing I don't. along with the yeah, solving? Yeah, I'm just vibing along. I I don't remember. Let's. Uh, There's so too let's much see. to remember. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Hell. Okay, I will go back there, but let's go back to this first one and see if we can. If if we time Turner this guy, yes. Oh. Uh, Tobias oh, says the game can make you feel really. This game can make you feel really smart and really dumb at the same time. Yeah. Very true. Oh, so I can't is it? Him. Is it? Oh really? I oh yeah, go the other side. Right. This. That's the guy. Who, he's wearing a hat. Was he the guy wearing a hat? I oh, I don't was. know. It looks like it must be him. Yeah. Yeah, it's him, isn't it? Okay, so he's jumped. He's, so he's, he's come up here. He's jumped over here. Jumped down. Yeah. yeah. Very sneaky. Yeah. So a little mutiny. Right, little mutiny on the go. Because mm, they want the shells. They want them. They want the <laughs> shells. But what, what are the shells? Magical. <laughs> Magic shells. Okay, so is this our lady? Our bedded lady? Abigail, ah, your name. brother, my friend, I shot him. Oh. Dead. Okay. It's Abigail's brother. I'll be with you soon, my love. So I think we know who this is. Please Captain's forgive me for everything. Okay, Captain's kill streak. Comes yeah. to an end. Oh goodness! Excuse you. A lot of information in that one, Ash. I'm excited. Are you excited? We're getting somewhere. Oh gosh! I need to. Oh, I need to write in my book. Really, uh, let me in my book. So, uh, was shot with a gun. So, this where? Uh, oh god! <laughs> Get me to. Are you okay? No, it's gonna <laughs> leave my head. Hold uh, on. Back to. <laughs> don't worry. It writes it all down. It will write down all the the. The dialogue. Go. You can read it all. 
oh my god, why can't I go <laughs> back to this? Okay, so... I think there is a button for this, but yes, let's have a look. Okay, so if we can find Abigail... Your friend. Your brother. Abigail. Oh! Oh no. I just saw her. Where I was pressed she too gone? many buttons. <laughs> Abigail Hoskut Whistrell. So she's the captain's wife. So maybe it wasn't the captain that we've been seeing then. A wife? Yeah. But I was thinking he could be a sister. But Hoskut. Hoskut Whistrell. It's, she's got a double barreled last name. Whistrell, so the same as the captain. So Hoskut for the brother. Perhaps a Hoskut. Let's have a look. Oh, at look at that. Was the first mate. I knew it. A William Hoskut. I knew it. So the captain's fate, you know now. You can change it from this screen as well, I think, which is he's right at the top. I'm just going to check that there's no more Hoskets. Oh, you think it might be that cheeky? Well, you, you forgot Hos secret Hoskett. You got to check. Seaman Hoskett. You got to check. You have got to check. Don't worry, I'm not. This is not me uh, taking taking the mick. I agree. So if you go, yeah, if I think if you go to, have you gone, did you go to his fate and click that? Yeah. And then I think if you go to the memories and just pick one, you have to kind of do it from the, from in the book. So go to the, as in go, go back into the manifest, click unknown, go down to memories. And I think if you choose one, the first memory, it'll take you to the page. Oh, okay. And then here you can input the, so this guy, we now think. Is, is William Hoskett. William Hoskett. So you need to go here, that's it. Oh, and his face has shown up, hasn't it? Correct! So that's what we think. It's not going to tell you if it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Sat S3, okay. Correctly, I don't at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset. Type set. But I think that's pretty good. Cool. So yeah, that's I'm one. happy with that. So if you are too along, we can look at any more. We don't know this guy yet. We don't know this guy. Where and is the captain? I think if you go back to the, if you go back to the memory that you're in, it hasn't kind of ended yet. So if you close the book, it hasn't actually sort of shown us our that it's, uh, you know, it spirals in. Yeah. Okay, so we've got Abigail. Yeah. And how has he killed himself? If I look at her, then the book that appears, he, sh he shot him. No, he stabbed his... He shot self. himself. He shot himself. We heard a gunshot. We did. And then if I look at him, it will appear there and show us who it is. Well, his hat's definitely fallen off. Okay. Here oh, we go. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> Captain F. Castle says, this looks great. I like that, the <laughs> idea that maybe this is a ship's captain watching. It's really great. Oh. It's your new favourite game. Captain so, Robert Wobble Wobble. Okay, and then there's, there's suicide. Gun knife, new spear. Gun. He okay. shot himself. May and that's or, that. May or may not be right. I mean, it definitely is right. <laughs> I'd be we surprised just need, if we it need, wasn't. We need one more... You know, confirmed body. Can you see? Is is there a body in the where the lady has been? There was one there, um, which was this one. Oh, this is the memory, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. So once we come out, I imagine this door will be open. Okay. She doesn't look well. I don't know. She's just sleeping. She's if she's sleeping, she's missed a lot of gun gunshots. <laughs> she's like a deep sleeper. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what? One, two, three, four. four. So you finished a chapter, I think. You found all the bodies in this chapter. Okay. That's the. I think that's what that is sh is saying. So there's no more bodies. Oh, but we'll, look, go into the go left or behind you. Go into the ladies' room. Oh, she's here. Oh, she's yelling. <laughs> she's smelling. Oh, I bet she is. Pongy. PlayStation Access says, oh boy, what a way to go. How long have you been saving that one up? Oh. Storm. Fight. <gasps> oh. oh, 
she really isn't well. Yeah, it is. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> it's a kraken slash giant squid! It's a cephalopod of some sort. I thought you'd like this game, Ash. Yay! There's stuff. Oh, so have yes. a good look around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. I mean, to be fair, you're going to be able to have a look around any, you know, any uh, in a minute. So don't worry about it. But look at this guy. Look at this guy. This guy's getting tentacled. He's getting tentacled currently. There he was in the drawing. He had no idea he was being tentacled later. Oh, that guy Ooh, looks he's the big, tough. He's a big lad. Yeah. Recognisable vest. He looks like a jailer. A gawola. So who's this? Because this might be Martin, where he's like, get back inside. Oh, look at his hat. Okay, iconic. So, Where's your hat gone? Did it drop off? Is it nearby? Maybe he wasn't wearing it in the store. Two people running out. All right, please. Okay. That is such a cool bit. Oh, gas. I couldn't remember when you discovered that there's a kind of a kraken. And I'm, I'm glad that it's early in the game. The Doom. I didn't realise it was going to be like this, which I like. What, have some... Have some otherworldly bits. Otherworldly bits, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, oh. The corpse was moved post-mortem. So that's Abigail. Yep. Oh, I've gone past it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have. Yeah, you oh, have. And it. Do yeah. I go back around? No. Nope. No. Nope. It was on page, like, two, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> got, she got squashed. Yeah, she did get crushed by, yeah, rigging. Oh, that feels right. Bit like that. Well done. Thank you. Three fates in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's been printed now. Yeah. Oh, and the music. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Okay, now we just need another 57 of those. Yeah. And we'll be fine. Oh, my, my hand's shaking. With fear. Speaking of fear, he looks scared. He doesn't look scared in this picture normally. Is she dancing upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, having a nice time. And then there's someone over here. Trying to shoot. Failing. He's got a kind of a slightly Willem Dafoe action. Oh, I don't know. Oh God, what's happening? Oh, what? 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 The action. I think you found. A body in within a, a within a, a dream. Oh my! Think he's going crazy. I think it's leading you there. I can't move. Can you not? No. Maybe. Oh. Oh, there we go. I had to press the button to let it out. Okay. Let out the smoke of death. Come on, smoke of death! Show me the bodies. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where's it gone? Smoke of death! Thank you. Right. Is this where the body was? <gasps> yes, being dragged. Okay. We were approaching it from a very weird angle before, so this was where the um, the tentacle was coming over and where our good lady Abigail got absolutely mulched. So, what's going on, lad? Uh, stealth that says Dinception. Very good. Yeah. I mean, this guy doesn't have a good end. Oh, the bone break. <gasps> Whoa! Yes. So this guy's like, oh, hell. <laughs> this guy's been torn in half. There's his oh. guts. Where's his legs? Are they broken above him? Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. This guy's chucking a rifle. I think he's catching it. Yeah. This guy's chucking it. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Wait. He looks a bit like the guy who... The uh, hat man, yeah. He was on the floor over there. So he ran all the way over. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> so this should be a jailer man. That's yeah. That's your, your, your vested 
dude. Be vested, gentlemen. Is this the hat? No, that's just another guy. Okay. And Where's then... Abigail at this point? She's not out yet, maybe. She was probably in the hall, and then because she, she comes out going, Where's my husband? <laughs> Bad move. Yeah. If there was a Kraken attacking, I'd, I'd definitely just stay inside of it. Crack attack. I'm, no, there's no way I'm going to help. Who, who is, is this? this? Oh, I love their tattoos. He's got good tattoos. They're recognisable as well. I don't know who this is yet. Certainly not an unknown fate, though. Uh, what would you say? Clubbed, crushed, capitated, drowned, eat, not eaten. I no. Froze, illness, killed, poison shot, spear, ah. spike, strangled, struck, torn apart. Yeah. By beast. A By a terrible, terrible beast. beast. Yes. David. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm really scared again. Look. I think I think there might be another another action another, to find. Yeah, I think you were very close to it. Yeah, it's here, right? Another body. Oh my goodness! And then we're gonna suck that up into our magic pocket watch. Uh, Monty Bagger says, "Release the cracker like a ding dong." And I don't know <laughs> why, but I wanted to say it. <laughs> <laughs> the smoke of doom. Where does it lead? Mmm, it smells good. Why is it doing big swirly whirlies? Just go right, <laughs> straight to where I need to go. Uh, the smoke of doom moves not as the crow flies. <laughs> when I don't know the name of the <laughs> mother ship. The main bit. Get the main bit. Oh, is this, a, is this someone else getting the whole office moved then with whoever was moving around? <laughs> Very immersive, to be fair. <gasps> Gunpowder, <gasps> treason, and plot. Oh wow! Someone's in there. What's happened here? So there's some ropes and a man on a rope, and he hasn't failed to throw the explosive. Is what I would say. I think so. I think he was supposed to throw it. I think he. And I and think he's got caught with it. I think it. a tentacle is. Smashed into him. Yeah, that looks what it looks like to me. That looks like he's been he's caught in the explosion. I think this is when the Kraken first appears, perhaps? This is its first They didn't sound it's very just, surprised. There's though. not loads of tentacle yet. They just really didn't sound surprised. Well, when you've been on the seven seas as long as this crew you expect to see things. Oh my goodness, everybody's falling over down here. Oh, it's this guy. Things. He's yeah. He's a he's had a long day. That is guy. it our tattooed man. Yes. Aha. So here he is. He's gonna he's gonna be next in line, I think. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be grabbed and quite literally torn apart. Who is this? I don't know. I get to the main bit. <laughs> 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 so he was exploded. I think so. There. Blasted by a blasted explosion. Okay, and now we're back. Oh, look at this creeping little guy. This is probably the one that gets him, isn't it? Little creep. Yeah, he's coming around like, the corner. Hello. <laughs> de -de -de -de. Grab. That's what it will happen. This guy's trying to hold on to his mate, being blown up, and everything else is falling over. And then Abigail's going to come out, going, "Where's my husband?" <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Smile asks, is this game on PS4 or just PS5? It's on PS4. Yeah. It's on PS4. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. The munitions have opened up. David. Oh, my goodness. I can't open that door because it has a cross on it. Yeah. I just want to check that my hypothesis is correct. Yes. You correctly deduced. It was locked. So, there should be a body here. Yeah. At least one. Crushed by uh, a cannon. Oh, yes. That would hurt so much. Oh. oh, right backwards into the thing and then oh. on top. Yeah. Oh, mate, I'm sorry. Almost literally a rock and a hard place. A cannon and a hard place. So this was just a man, is what we found. Yeah. Um, the Oh, right, that was our friend falling down the stairs. One of these was the hat man. 
Is this still mid? Are we still mid Kraken here? Is that what's causing the uh, ship to? Oh yeah, I think I saw a tentacle out the window. Okay, there's our um, Obi Wan. Yeah, he does look like like you and McKellen. Is this the jailer or someone else? This is a new guy. That's yeah, a new guy. Yeah, the jailer. Oh, I think there's another is, body uh, on the floor there. Okay, but our friend who was running up the stairs isn't here anymore. The one with the flat cap on. Oh, is that someone else. <laughs> Can I clean anything? Uh, Kazan says, already platinum this, uh, but now I want to replay it. What did Loving you say? this. <laughs> uh, uh, Kazan? <laughs> right, so he was. Uh, <laughs> Otter Poet says, yep, that'll leave a mark. Crushed crush by, crush by a cannon. But wait. Which there's one? More so there's death. one crushy man there. There's another crushy man here. That's what the Kraken does to their body. It's just sort of. Yeah. Just go straight there, please. Stop Suck this messing around. Them. <laughs> it's fun. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, get involved. Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> you got to guess where it's going. I know where it's, it's going. I just get. found Whoa, the corpse. No, you got to guess. Come on, play along. Oh, last one of Krypton says. I told you he's eaten. Oh no. Oh, that's what Eaton's gonna be in the claw mouth. Ow. Okay, so someone. Last one of Krypton says, "Hello, me lovelies," which I like, and then says, "Ash, amazing, and Dave," which is nice. <laughs> but can I have like a Dave? Your fan like favorite cool Dave? Ash, amazing, and like D Dave, uh, Dave, excellent. That doesn't work. Just a, you know, give me some hyperbole. Oh, okay. Our man's is a, a munitions yeah. guy. Here we go. Yeah, he's a. Because he's got a big. He's got one of those things you shove like, in the cannon. Yeah. This guy's got uh, the lighter. Yeah. So we've got three people who. Oh, who and is that isn't that guy? Isn't he the guy who was climbing the rope? Yeah. Who gets no? Who gets? Uh, I'm thinking of the captain. Doesn't he get kill, killed by the captain? Yeah, yeah. The one who we thought was climbing a rope. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's Hatman. Okay. He, another Hatman. There's like three Hatmen, but. So we might. He gets, get killed, he gets killed by the captain as well, this guy. Oh, uh, right. That's the two of them. So we might be able to get closer to their names if we know that they're... On the gun deck. On the gun deck. And what did how, who actually died in this memory? Did you see how they died? Yeah, they got cannon shot. Cannon shot. There's some lovely... Uh, oh, they died together. Dave-tastic, I'll take. A Dave-zing, says Chairman Antelope. That's That's brilliant. Uh, Intrepidus says, Magnifidave. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, okay. Carter or Shane says, Dave, the amazing boss. I need to come back. Hold on. Sorry, you can carry on. That's right. H Happy Boom has named you Captain Ash Sparrow. Oh. Which I quite like. Thank you. For this. But it says he was killed. There's someone here as well. Yeah, there's someone under there. It said he was killed by someone. So who lit the cannon? Probably this guy. Did it say... Well, did you definitely... It, could it be that you put in the... That's not the right death? No, it's definitely that guy that got blasted by a cannon. He's the one with the big top hat on, look. And then in the picture, he's the one with the big top hat on. So he's definitely shot by a cannon. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, so who fired the cannon? Yeah, yeah. and which other body is it asking me about? Is it this guy? There's a foot there. There is a foot there. Excuse my throat. <laughs> not that one. Not any of these. They usually kind of shimmer, don't they, I think, when it's uh, on the, when you find them. Obviously, these people are all alive. Who's not alive? No, but it's... Oh, yeah, because they'd be dead in this scene to yeah, be asking the question. Yeah, they'd be dead in the scene, so... So, surely it's that man's leg? I mean, that, that guy doesn't look well. I don't know if you can... But it's, it doesn't look like it's him. Maybe we can do it in the next um, scene or there's something. there's someone else hidden. You know, there's a lot... You do really have to investigate these scenes. That he, he does hide little... Little people. <laughs> Little bits of people. Well, we know that, that there is definitely a man and his leg there. So why can't we look at him? No, because the doors are shut. So he's been blasted. Maybe if you zoom on the on the dead, the, you know, the crushed person. Yeah, I have been pressing oh, in okay. my button, but it's not like a crouch button, is it? I can't remember. 
Oh. Dermot Sheehan says, what is this? It's working, hold on. Dermot, it's your new favourite game. It's Return of the Oberdin. So that isn't even the other guy in the image? Ramon says, world's okayest, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You could be the, the worst, Dave. Yeah. That th This isn't even the guy in the picture, Dave. No. That's a different man. David. Yes. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. No, I don't remember the answers. Where's the other Where's the other dead guy? That's what I want to know. Oh, oh uh -huh. Uh -huh. hello. Coward. Oh, that's a different guy as well. God, all these people. Is there anyone hiding here? I think that's everybody in the scene. So why is it showing me that there's a bold man dead? Who are you? So the, yeah, so first memory is the first time we see them, obviously, and the perished in is the when they the the chapter where they died uh, at the same. Yeah. For this guy, it's the same at the moment. So we've, he's going to be in this image then. He is in this image. I guess so. There's the man's hat. I was wondering where that went. Okay. So he's got to be in the image, otherwise, why would he be in this me memory? Otherwise, why would he be referenced as appearing in it? Oh, what's the, um, in the hammock? Behind you. <gasps> 45. But it doesn't look like there's a man in there. Good shout, though. Yeah. There's other ha ha hammocks. Yes. I think they, that will be important. You know, they, uh, they s sew you up in your hammock when you die on a ship. Do well, they? I believe so. Oh, he must be somewhere. Is he falling? Where are the stairs? Because there was a bunch of people falling down. No, okay, they're closed off. Just give me a real... Uh, real desire to watch a sort of naval movie. Like Master and Commander or something. You need to watch The Terror again. Oh, my God, The Terror is so good. This is big The Terror vibes. Yeah. But, like... Okay, let's just check that nobody's hiding behind anything here. No, okay. Where would you hide if you were being a coward on a ship? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be a coward on a ship. I'd be dead on a ship, which is what we're looking for. Someone in this scene is dead. Yeah, by being a coward, I assume. Do you think? Why? <laughs> I assume. Well, they're not very <laughs> obvious here, are they? Well, maybe they're they're, they're in bits. Maybe there's only bits of them left. Oh, kick. What's that? What Why is that? Oh, it's a cannonball, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got our three men. Where's your friend? Is there anything out the window? Anyone oh, being good shout. anyone being anyone eaten by falling? the falling? Not that we can see there. Not that we can see there. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> Explosion. Me. Doesn't look like it. That's another tentacle. We're going to have to move on in a second. Because yeah. it's becoming too difficult. But we did find this guy's leg. Yeah, we did. And that guy's hat. Mm. Okay. Oh, there you go. This is another guy, though. Well, you're not going to take us far, Smoke of Doom, surely. It's going to go here, please. <laughs> watch me. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch me. Can I get to that from here? There's his little leggy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> closer too fast. Okay, so this is just before they all fell over. He's been eaten. He's been eaten. Do you think? Oh, oh he's oh. been... <laughs> 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 That's so gnarly! <laughs> oh my god. You're goodness. way too excited about that. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Oh, this guy's getting absolutely crushed as well. He's our hat Top man. Hat man. He's going to get shot by the, by the cannon, right? This is the man who was in the image previously. So Top Hat Man... He he's must have, he's he held must onto have. the cannon, right, by the by the kraken, and he's going to get shot by yeah. it. Yeah, it's yeah. about to go. It's got lit, yeah. And this guy, do you think he's just crushed by the cannon and by the or by the beast? He's either he's think? either out the window or has been pushed up the wall, and we just didn't see him. I reckon because he he's no, he was nowhere around here before. And then there are three pals over here messing around still as well. Yeah. So we've got this guy who's a big stick operator. 
And then we've got the muffly stick operator and the sparky stick operator. Yeah. A lot of people enjoying the sound design in this game. I'm pretty sure that all the voices have done, uh, 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 all the VO, the voice acting is done by Lucas Pope's friends, which I really like. Oh, that's cool. I think that's true. Um, I would say he got crushed to death by by a beast. It was beast and cannon. I would say by cannon because that's what's you think so? crushing him. Oh, but it wasn't loose. No, it was loose, but what else could it be? Exploded, fell, froze. It's none of those. I feel... It, I think he was crushed. I think he was either crushed by the cannon or by the beast. Because he's like... He's yeah. kind of pinned to it. Yeah. And I suppose... It doesn't feel... It feels like he's kind of on top of it. But it's the tentacle that's like crushing him on. Yeah, because it's like pulling it out. Yeah. I would say crushed is the word. So let's go with that. Crushed by a loose cannon. And now I've got some business to attend to with this bald man. <laughs> this guy fell some. over. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. Okay, right. I want to go back to a memory, so... What? The Doom. All right, so, yeah, just a bit here. This guy. I want to go to this memory. The views! Can I, can I go to it? Yeah, I'm... Yes, you can. Two memories. I'm sure there. you can. And he's in two memories as well. But maybe not because you. Maybe not when you're in a memory because you're currently in a memory. Oh, am I? Yeah, I think so. So I don't think you can. Okay. So you have to kind of exit this memory and then you can. Uh, okay, let's do that. And you can do it. I'm just. I need to. I need to solve it. I think I'm in a memory. In a memory at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> to, possibly, to be honest, yeah. so maybe there's more they want from me. So that guy's on the floor. These guys are lighting the cannon. Whoa! Fire in the hole! He's getting the squisher. So it's a tattoo man. He's like the... We're going to call him Boulder. Boulder. Yeah. He's like the... He does the prodding, doesn't yeah. he, in the cannon. The guy who is killed by the captain, well, this 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 guy with the knife in his mouth, he's yeah. the Igniter. fuse lighter. And then... This guy's a, this guy's a shooter because he's in the picture as a shooter. 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 But he, and he's got his big stick as well. I guess, yeah. He has to... Which is so what So they're he, like a little gun crew, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. The captain got... Yeah. So they tried to get him and they failed. And you can see... does there is there a number on the... Um, the hammocks. Yeah, the hammock. Because this gives you an idea of the location. And you can also see who sleeps where. So 45. But how do we know that any of those sleep there? We don't? No, no, we don't. But... It's good to know this stuff, and that's 41, to, if you go and look at the crew manifest and you look at the map and stuff, yeah. just to get an idea of where things are and what people are doing. Okay. I think a bit more has opened up this way. Yeah, there we go. At least I can leave. Uh, goodbye. Right, okay. let me load up my memory to try and find that man, because we have more of an idea of where he should be now. Why does it keep showing me this <laughs> when I click it? Can I see his memory, please? Yeah, so I think if you, if you go to the... Is it when you... I think you have to go to the body to do it. But... There's only one body here. So where... I'm sure you can access it from the book. It will at least lead you to the book, to the body. Well, this is the one that opens up that, that memory. So... Oh, can you press my button, please? Oh, we got the noises again. <laughs> yeah, it always replays the little scene. So this is where I'd expect him to fall out, because he was grabbing... He was right here, grabbing this, and that guy's been shot. And this is another man. So where is he? Where? There's nowhere else for him to be, David! How did he die? Yeah, Ash, I'm gonna, you're going to... Is he you're in gonna this have blast? to, you know. Sometimes you're not gonna have all the information. Sometimes you won't have all the information for a while. But what? How does he? Where? How did he go? He's dead in this scene, and we can't even see his body. Where did? Maybe he's in the next bit. Maybe he's dead in this memory. But oh, but what? That wouldn't make sense. Dave, please. <laughs> you're gonna, Help me. This, you're gonna have to not be too fixated on these things. Let's just try and like keep going. Okay. I would start thinking like. 
just what can we find out about that gun crew? Because yeah. if you can name any of them, that's good, isn't it? Then you you can sign, you know, you can sort out some of the murders you found upstairs. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm only. This is my uh, advice. It's like you, it is difficult. Sometimes you have to walk away from a mystery and come back to it later. I hate walking away from mysteries. I know. Cannons. No names or numbers, but a cannon, all the same. Can you f can you um deduce anything from the like crew manifest yet? No, I haven't looked at it. Have a look at it. <laughs> oh, somebody. Oh my. With a knife. Why do you want me to look at this crew manifest? I was just thinking, it's at the start of the book, isn't it? Uh, just trying to think what button I can press. That will make it happen for me. Oh, I can hold it down. Okay. So... I just wondered if it said anything in the quality. If it was like, you know, gun crew. Gun so there you go. Christian Wolf, gunner. Just to see a gunner's mate. Yeah. Artist. Just trying to get an idea of ship steward, captain steward, loads of stewards, midshipmen. Is a midshipman could just mean like people are on the middle deck though. I guess so. Yeah, and that could be all three of them. Yeah, top man, top man, seaman. Let's just but have a one quick look at the um, where's the glossary? Yeah, it's at the end. Uh, officer in training. So they learn operations. So they could, they, he could, some one of them could have been, could have been a midshipman. Um, what does it say for gunner? Like, is it just the person who lights the cannon, or in charge of weapons? A minute. So gunner feels higher up than these guys. Yeah. So we probably can't figure anything out yet. So this is it's definitely the gun deck, and they are gunners. Okay. Let's look at this body on the floor. Yeah. Let the body hit the floor. It already has, Dave. It has. Ah! But how? Why? That what? looked like more than one. A lot of bones. Yeah. Dylan says, "What's up, guys?" No. What's up, Dylan? Cut. <laughs> Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Well, he's got a posh voice. Tell Pete's mother. I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. Well, we've got a lot of names there. So tell Pete's mother. So his name ain't Pete and it ain't Brennan. But Brennan's this guy's name's Brennan. This one. This one. Oh my god, there's many. <laughs> what the hell has happened here? <laughs> ah! Okay. Someone's called Brennan in amongst that lot. Bishop Brennan. Is he he's he's posh, he is. Leechy says this game looks awesome. It is awesome, it's so good. It's your new favourite game. Please play it. Please play Return of the Overdin. It's so good. So could that he could he could he be a no, he's part of the crew. For sure, because he's in the crew picture. So these are definitely two crewmen. He could be the doctor because they're asking for the surgeon's kit and the surgeon. So the surgeon's obviously well, dead. Well, Brennan's at this point. not the surgeon, yeah, for sure, because he's like Brennan bring the surgeon kit. Yeah, and he and he and the guy saying it can't be the surgeon because he's otherwise he'd say bring my kit. Yeah, probably. So the surgeon's dead at this point. So it could or be that guy or not present. Oh, did it? yeah. Otherwise, he'd say go get the surgeon, wouldn't he? Probably, yeah. So tell Pete's mother. Tell Pete's mother something. So this is our man's. Oh no! Don't leave me bare up. So, so this guy's Scottish. We know that from his yeah, intonations. Cut. And this guy is British English. Like yeah. oh, tell Pete's mother. I I tried my best. To pull him back. So Pete has been lost to sea. 
presumably. And this guy's tried to save him. Pull him back from. Or pulled him or pulled him back from, from a cult. fight. You know, I tried to pull him back yeah. from a fight, but he going away mentally. Yes, true. He's been. So this guy, he's been cut anyway. We know. Yeah. Oh, you're cut. So I guess knifed. Just well, it doesn't have check. to be knife. Yeah, well, there, there was a t- there was a knife outside his door, wasn't there? Let's just have a quick look because there is a knife. There was a knife outside his door. So it, is it still in him? It just says he's cut. We don't actually actually know. We don't actually know. Yeah, but he's no. come. He's come from over here. But we might well find out. Yeah, if we see what happened over here. So something's happened to him from over here. This guy's got like a club in his hand. See. Ah. Are you evil? Or is he like... Are you Hatman? Or is he like, he, you know... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is he like, you know, restoring the peace? The peats. He knocks them on the head. The peats, yeah. Yeah. There's more blood further out as well. It keeps going in that direction. What, this way? Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, some drippings. Where doth thou lead? Let's go and do this. Hold on. Bong. Bong. Ouchie. Crip my neck. Kevin Scully says, amazing game. Don't think there's anything else like it. I don't think there's anything else like it either. Oh, please, smoke. Tell me what's up. Has to do a little go around the mast. <laughs> I love how much <sighs> you're annoyed at the smoke every time. <laughs> Show off smoke. <laughs> oh, it's fun. You want to mess with me, smoke? <laughs> 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 uh, Morgan says, if it helps, some deaths can be correct with multiple causes, like oh, okay. spiked or speared. So that's good. Oh, you damn fool. Hat man, kit the man Beanie has, boy. Uh, smashed him over the head, but what's he got in his hand there? Gun. Or? Oh, you bet it is. Oh. Oh. So he's possibly. Oh my sh- god. Whoa, shot this guy. <gasps> We've seen him. That. Uh, what? No, no, this is, must be a different one. Because he well, was upstairs. I've definitely seen this guy at some point because I remember thinking to myself... I remember his hat. He, he was upstairs. He looks a bit like... Uh, to me, he's got a Willem dafoe about him. So this must be after the Kraken attack then? Yeah. If that's the case. It's definitely a different if time. it's the same man. What's going on out the back by the stairs? The other back. Yeah, over here. Who's this guy? He's oh, this running is, with the So kids. this has happened quite simultaneously with the guy who's been cut, right? Yeah, so this looks like... Oh. Oh, he's dragged himself over, look. He's dragging himself over to the... Uh, and he's got a knife in the back. He's been so stabbed. Oh, because this is before, yeah. This is the guy going... Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you're cut. Rosnar says, definitely been on the fence with this game, but this stream has convinced me to buy it. Yes, Rosnar. You will not be disappointed. So this guy's got clubs in the face. He has. By a man. Yeah, by the by hat man. man. By the hat man. That's all we know. Oh my goodness. And I've the got guy next more to him. to add. I just want to put in that this guy was stabbed, whichever man he was called. Let's just double check what he looks like. One sec. What do you look like? That. Yeah. That's him. So he was stabbed in the back. Just knifed and stabbed. Yeah, just knifed. But we don't know who by. God, this is going crazy. There Although we go. There's a good. For me, there's a good chance it's this guy with the gun, I suppose. Yeah. But I don't know. He's, he's got a gun and a knife. I'm not sure. He's got many weapons. Oh my god, Off it's literally it right next to him! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta Whoa. do it circuit! Where will it go? <laughs> Nobody knows. Well, we actually all know. It's going right there. Okay, and this guy's head's got blown clean off, including hats. Oh, sorry, I keep pressing to make it happen <laughs> and then closing <laughs> it. That's him being stabbed. Oh, okay. Oh, goodbye. So who is 
thinking of mutiny. So you think this guy is the guy running away going, mutiny! Yeah, mutiny! He's, got, he's got the posh boy voice. Okay, and he's stabbed. Right, and this guy we know doesn't trust the captain because he was the the one at top trying to kill him. Okay. So this guy is just like a security guy? I don't know. I, I need to look at the, the transcript again because there's a lot of scuffling. So this guy's there, and then this guy's like, oh, my boy. Wait, there's another man with a hat on? <laughs> Imagine. Oh, no. <laughs> another hat. That's oh, my hypothesis. That's all I had to go on oh, was the hat. Oh, God, this is another man. This is a different man. Different oh, okay. Hat. Very different hat. Okay, so that's who I was thinking of. So this, this is the guy, because these kill each other then. Oh, God. Well, the guy with the club's going to come down and get the guy who's just... Sh yeah, and he's Hat Man. He's Hat Man. He's Beanie Man. Yeah, let's call him Beanie Man, because yeah. there are mul multiple hats at this point. Right, well, his head got shot clean off. Yeah, no more face. Shot by a gun, and you're too late. But wait. Who else is dead in this scene? Maybe upstairs, because we didn't look out around that much. Oh, dear. What? Someone's is this Pete? Off. Could this be Pete? I tried to pull him back. Oh. No. He ain't trying to pull him back. Okay, go do your thing, Smoke. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> I'll come when I please. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go. Whoa, I'm no, just where's gonna it go. going? Oh, look out. <laughs> Mystery smoke. Oh, right on the booty cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. What? Ooh. Oh! Well. Hello. Let them go. So they this is that dancing lady? It is. So she's... Escaping? Yeah. Leaving? Yeah, because the chapter's called Escape. Oh, okay. But this guy's got shot. Who's saying let them go? The guy who's uh, well, on he's the floor? certainly not letting them go. So he must be saying let them go. That's Is it the captain? That's the captain, right? That's the captain. So the captain's saying let them go. And this guy's dead. So who is definitely... Are we sure who shot him? Is he shot in the back or shot in the front? Back. You think he shot in the back? No front. Sorry. He shot in the front. Yeah, because look. By the lady, that's, that's a shotgun. That looks pretty conclusive. Yeah, you got entry wound, little exit wound, big. Big. Whereas it would be the other way around. Yeah. Oh, and these two are here. Hello. <laughs> Connor Law says you've heard of Two Face. Now you've heard of No Face. Oof. So this is our man who got shot. My gun. Big gun, though. Big gun. Ooh, I wonder when the arrows come in. How many... Uh, you should see how many women there are on the ship as well, Ash, because there's like not three. many. Yeah, and we already know one of them's Abigail, and that's not her on the boat. No, that's Dancy Lady, but we don't have a name for her, no. which we might get from the ship's manifest. We might. I see. And also... That guy, you know, who's uh, oh, your cut. We know he's Scottish, yeah. and it does say what nationality people are as well, so that might be helpful. That was a ridiculous one from the smoke, then. <laughs> <laughs> it's got it's a job's worth. It's got it's paid by the hour, clearly. Ooh, where to go next? Okay, That's so so how many ladies? They're going to be look for passengers, aren't they? I was looking at Scotland first, so we've got. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Sorry, Purser Duncan Mackay. Okay. We know Ab and Abigail's from Scotland. Are and there any other Scottish? The or oh, who's this? Topman. Timothy Buteman. The the captain himself is Scottish as well. Okay, that's interesting. There's not many Scotsmen. So, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hey, fellas. Can you hear? We can't hear y'all. So, Edward, Martin, John, Alfred, Charles, Henry, James, Winston, Marcus, Thomas, Emile. Christian. Classically. This is obviously going by gender stereotypes as well. It's Christian, 
Olus, uh, Duncan, Finley, Edward, Abigail, Nunzio, as it ends in an O, I think, man, Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Bird, Bunlan Lin, It Being Sia, Chio Tan, Hock Sing Lan, I don't think they're from Formosa. I don't know, maybe. I'd not I think because I think they're in the she's dancing with the like I think the Formosan people are all with the royalty. in a different p- image. Yeah. Yeah. So Zungi Sa- Safi. So Philip maybe Samuel Roger and Daisy Peter Thomas Charles. Oh, maybe Peter. Emily. Maybe Miss Jane Bird. Yeah. And that looks like... There's some other countries where I'm not familiar enough with the names to know if it's like a male or female name is the only yeah. thing. But going by my own limited knowledge, Emily and the other lady... I think the other thing is, I think the ladies are going to be classed as passengers. Yeah, they are. So... You, yeah. But I, yeah, I think... You Presumably they're passengers and it's, un, and it's yeah. just men on the ship otherwise, but... We don't know. We haven't find. We haven't been to the bottom deck yet. Interesting, Leo. Interesting. So got and then, and then, how many Scottish people did you find who were? So Duncan McKay is the purser. Yeah. So Duncan McKay, and then there's an there's the an first mate. It could have been the first mate. No, because we've we know who that is. William Hoskett. So that yeah, did we? Did you check his face? You know the person who says, "Oh, you're cut." Get the Bring the sur- Brennan, bring the, <laughs> bring the sergeant's tools. It wasn't William. It wasn't. It wasn't William. William. Okay, so it, okay, so For that narrows it down. So it can only be either Duncan McKay or this guy Timothy Buteman, who's he, a topman. Yeah, he he would be higher up in the ship, but that would be his sort of deck. Is there another? I thought but the purser's a- like there's only one purser. He's got to be yeah pretty high up as well. So, so it's we- one of those two. Interesting. Interesting. David Houston says Formosa is now Taiwan, by the way. Oh, cool. Life at sea, the crew. Murder. Uh, let's go to escape. They're all blurry at the moment, so we can't name them. Yeah, William Hosker is that guy, so we haven't seen him since. This guy, though, Hat he's man. been all over the place. Who's now Beanie Man. Yeah, Beanie Man's been everywhere. Don't know about him. We know the captain. So Beanie Man, we, we need to find Beanie Man's name at some point. I don't know if he's Scottish. He's got eight memories. Man can't be stopped. Oh, look at all these memories. Yeah. Anyway, let's close the book. Let's close the book and look at this body. Da da. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last one. <laughs> Damn. So right, so she's going no and Paul look out. So do you think Paul... I think this might be Paul. This might be Paul getting stabbed. Yeah, I think and that who, might be Paul. And we know who's stabbing him. Stabbing him, she's going to shoot the guy who's stabbing him, is that right? Yeah. And then who else we got? A man. And there's the other lady. He's He looks like a butcher or something with an apron on. But that might yeah, just be the angle. Yeah, he's definitely got a, a distinct... Or maybe he's the other Scotsman. Before. You see the other lady. Well, we know both our both our women are here, aren't they? Which they is are. They're all dancing together. The oh. three of them: Abigail, yeah, Lady Jane, and uh, Emily. I think it was. Where's the captain at this point? He's coming, coming up. The stairs and he's firing so he the fires gun. into the air. He's like to try and go. Guys, stop that! Come on. And then this guy, the bearded man, stabs him right proper through the heart. Right proper. How many Pauls are there? I think he's Paul. I think we should put him as Paul. Because his name's clear as well. There's going to only be one Paul. Oh, you mean his face is clear, yeah. Paul Moss. 
the first mate steward, and he's Stand. killed by sword. Yeah, that's knifed? up up that one. Oh, killed sword by the bearded man. By the bearded man, which is this guy who we don't know the name of. Yeah, but yeah, she was like, "Whoa, whoa!" This is a nice toast he makes at night. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Yeah, there's no other Pauls, but we got to check. I think everybody has their own name, which is good. Good. But wait. Who else is there's dead? More. There's more dead bodies to find. So someone's dead on deck somewhere. Or Bong. in the boat. Or in the oh, boat. Oh, well, it looks like you're. F it looks like you're heading towards it. Bong. It looks down at uh, down uh, deck Bong. to me. Happened here? This guy's just chilling. Perhaps he's going. It was terrible. What happened? Yeah. Uh, All right, oh, now it can it can be real fancy it's now. It's like yeah, follow me, <laughs> do my thing. It's so it's far went away. Went very high there. The, the, for, for just no so unnecessary. <laughs> Come on. I hate fun. It's just bringing a little bit of you know class to the to a murder. Dead body. Mm -hmm. Laura B says I should definitely replay this. I don't remember any of the answers, so it will be like the first time. I totally agree. Me too. You're in a bad way. It's a squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's so gone. French. Your mate was torn apart. That. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. You should rest. A curse like that does that bit for nothing. So man's just is like, Ugh, I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah. And one of these is the 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 posh boy, I think. Really? Let's have a look. No, I was wrong. Oh, but well, Willem gonna, Dafoe's here. Yeah, Willem Dafoe's going to have his face shot off later. The guy said Verdampt. I think that's the guy's name. Oh, really? I thought it was more like a... It, to me, it felt like um, like a German or Austrian way of saying, like, damn. Well, yeah, agree. Ma oh, so but then, oh, could be Alfred, the Austrian. We have Austrian people. Oh, yes, yeah, a few. There's a few, so it could be many Boson and Boson's mate. That absolutely makes sense, though, because he was like, where's my Frenchman? Uh, there you go. Yeah. Great shout. So that's Alfred. That's Alfred, right? Surely. That was a great little bit of deduction there. There's no other French. Yeah. And he does say what happened to the Frenchman. I can't remember. He, he got killed, he got he ripped open. The... So it's one of the people that got ripped open. It could have been. Um, well, no, it can't be Tattoo Man, because Tattoo Man. There's only two. Oh. Well, they could well be stood near each other on the ship as well if they're Boson and Boson's mate in the picture. But so what have we learned? This guy is Alfred. Yeah, and that he has a friend who's French. I think I've gone too far. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Again. <laughs> A ninety says he's got an arm off. Mm. <laughs> Emma Clark says it's just a flesh a flesh wound. Oh, I need to go to the chapter list. Where's our man? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I've lost him. Where's the one from this this scene? Maybe it's going to open in a minute. To be fair. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't. It doesn't do it too but afterwards, does it? He's Alfred. So he's Alfred, the bosun. And we. He's died. He just kind he's, of. Yeah, he's got. An oh, arm. he does not have. An yeah, arm. he's got his <laughs> arm missing. Good point. Yeah. Very good point. Well made, everybody. And he's come from over here. He's the one who did the drippy drops. Then. Yeah. Is what we know. He's been dripping. What? <gasps> Excuse me. Who are you? Are you the posh man? One of the behatted men. Oh, there's too many hats. Oh. <laughs> got cramp in my Adam Knight says, Dave, is this game still in the January sale? I don't know. I don't know. The January sale is finished, but New Year New Deals is on, so it could have been put into that one as well. But I definitely got it in the January sale, so hopefully it's been 
moved over. They, Alfred. Alfred. Oh. Uh, expired. Yeah. He, it could he did, be, really. It, it could be illness or poison, but he did. I think you're right. He he died probably of like blood loss or something, but... Oh, oh no. Not no, from yeah, old yeah. age. Maybe torn apart because he did have an yeah. arm off. Oh, it's no longer in the in the sale anymore. It's not, but that doesn't mean it won't be again. It's still worth full price for yeah. me. And wish list it, wish list it in it as well. Do That's that. I love doing that on the store because then you get an, a little notification when you can grab something for a good price. Well, maybe torn apart. Yeah, I was just thinking because it asks for more info. I'm What's gonna. What's the? Uh, what can we read the dialogue again? Put me down. Let go. Easy now. The squid. The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. For damn, the beast is dead. Have I mean, it feels like he's been fighting the squid as well, right? Let's just put squid. Yeah. Is what exactly, I say. Yeah. We can always change it. I think for now it's it's a fair shout. Did we get three? No. Not yet. Okay, so this has gone terribly. Oh, who's this? Hello, sir. Where have you come from? Is this the posh boy? This might be the posh boy. This is the posh boy. You get stabbed. So is this uh, this this is all happening at the same time as the mutiny, right? The other the two guys at the front are gonna in the officer's mess are gonna talk about mutiny. This is just before. Right. And he's gonna hear it and go mutiny, mutiny. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because here's our man. And he's going, oh no. So yeah, this is this is the posh posh man. So he's come from downstairs, so we know that he's a lower ranking person. And then this guy must spin around like Brennan. We should be able to figure out who Brennan is as well, to be honest, at this point, if we went back and cross referenced some stuff. The shoes are making a nice noise. Well, Ash, it's coming up to five thirty. I'm not finished! I know. Ah. There's a long way to go. There's a lot more to discover and find out. Oh my god, do any skeletons get reanimated? <laughs> I didn't see that in the... Uh, well, there was a live. There wasn't a live option. So I've got three more. What? How do you even miss bodies? Disappearances. There you go. So, like, some of them... Maybe escaped. Yeah. Oh, right, so we can write they them were on in. The, they were on the boat, weren't they? They were our ladies, so... She's alive. You think so? But where, where, where did she go? I don't know. Sea, <laughs> the sea. <laughs> oh, she's our dancing lady. You shot. Oh. Yeah. What about it? There you go. She's a difficult one. Well, yeah, we just know they're two women. And we can't even see their faces. Or their deduction ratings. Okay. Well, we know that they're women and that they got on the boat. Yeah. But we haven't looked at the chapters after that to see if it left or got sunk or anything like no. that, to be fair. And I, do, I think that the chapter it, where it says, like, the escape, it tells you where on the map that happened. So, I mean, yeah. if they escaped near the Azores, for example, it's probably likely that's where they were going. What do you mean? I mean, if you go and look at the chapters in the book. Oh, that's opened up. Okay. Um, um, so, if you go to the, the start of the escape, page 106. You see it's got a map. So you can see this is where this chapter, where the ship oh. was. So it narrows down where they might have been escaping to, I guess is what uh, what I'm saying. They might have been going to the Azores. Or okay, so we've got the Azores, Madeira, and the Canary Islands. Azores is the closest one. Yeah. So if that might well be where they were. Oh, that's so interesting. Escaping to. I'm going to not do anything because we don't know their names anyway, so we'd have to guess the name as well. Yeah. And then just hope for a, co a correct... You could put, like, where you think they escaped to without putting their names. Mm. They're in the conclusion. But also you could not. There they are. This lady, we like her. We don't know who she is, but we That's think... True. We think she's alive and maybe 
Well, it's, it's, who knows? She could be on the Canary Islands. She, she could, could be, on, be the on the Azores. I think unknown for now. Yeah. It's too, that's too rough. Because she's right in the middle of a bunch of places. So, all right. Okay. Shall I go down? Or shall we... <laughs> you can end the We're stream. We're going to end the stream, yeah. Ash. It's 5.30. And this is... Honestly, it's there is not going to be a good place to stop this. It's just yeah. more and more Moorish. You are going to discover more and more and want to know more and more. So, oh, I am I going do. to say that it's 5.30. Have I succeeded? Is this your new favourite game? At yes. Least, at least for the next few days. Yeah, I'm taking this. I'm uploading my save straight away and then going. Leaving. Yeah. <laughs> um, everybody in the chat, thank you so much for joining us. I hope that this is your new favourite game. If you haven't played Return of the Obra Dinn, I hope you've seen enough today to convince you it's it's so worth your time. It's so interesting. There's no other game out there like it. It stretches your brain power. And I think I'm right in saying you don't you can finish the game without solving everything. You can actually kind of decide when you're done, um, which is uh, in itself pretty fascinating. Um, it's got an amazing story to tell, and I think it makes you feel smart in ways you didn't even realize. Just, it's it's brilliant. I can't say enough good things about it. Yay. Uh, so please let us know in the comments if it's your new favorite game or if you're gonna at least give it a go, pick it up, uh, or if you've played it before and you're like, this was already my favorite game or one of them. It's It's, fantastic um ash thank you so much for playing return of the obradin today i'm so excited to finally thank you for showing it me you, uh, look this guy's down here it. still waiting with my <laughs> stuff <laughs> exactly uh i think we should leave it here before we give away any more of the what happened on on the obradin so i'm gonna say thank you so much for joining us thank you to domino thank you to alex Thank you to our stream lord this afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Don't make uh, or don't 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 make sure. Do make sure you check back tomorrow because we're going to have a video on the channel that you're going to want to see. But I think all that's left to say is have a lovely evening and goodbye. Bye. Thank Bye. you.